much. Uh, a little bit smaller. So it's, it's like the 97. It's, it is very much the 97. It's a great sport. It's a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, ABC. So this is your meeting. Oh, it's sweet. Uh, get Oh, oh, there it goes, yeah. Cool. Uh, they've got it on, I think it's on 3G. Yeah, they've got it on 3G. Whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know why we have it on 3G. So, we've added the ability to quickly get access to the weather channel. Super bad.
I have a lot of email today. So. How does your how does your signature work with the universal inbox when you go and type an email? Does it know which signature to use? You would set up a default and then change it as you. Okay. Need it. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Is there anything else you want to walk walk us through? I I think I think it, uh, you know just. It's, it's very compelling and everything has that flow to the experience for you. So when you go into one thing and you're thinking to yourself, what I'd really like to do is be able to launch an app that tells me something about that. And you know, you're going to find you can. Can you give me a quick uh, look through of the media player? That's one yeah, of the sure. newer features, yeah. right? Yeah. So we actually have... Our, so, so the media player is not necessarily new. We've had we support a video, music, voice notes, um, all of that for a long time. I think that um, what you'll find is is that it's a, it's a little bit more intuitive. Uh, to yeah, intuitive and laid out. We've got um, our media sync, um, which you download um, through BlackBerry.com, gotcha. and that that app gives you remote sync. So if you so you go on your desktop and you have uh, some of your music library that you want there when you're back home with it with the Wi-Fi, it's, it's going to bring it down and sync it for you oh, okay. to your to your device. So can you give me a quick?